Greetings, everybody. Uh, once again, this this your boy All Washington. Uh, first, first and foremost, before I start this on Randolph, I want to just um, once again thank everyone for you know being understanding um, throughout the time that I need to you know take a brief break from you know all the rants and stuff like that because I mean I needed to focus heavily on um, me on uh, passing my own courses and stuff at at school. The good news is that um, by, by me focusing focus heavily on that, um, I managed to uh, pass this on semester, um, earn my own credits that, that I needed for college and stuff like that and stuff. And so now um, I'm in the process of getting ready to, to get this thing cranked back up again with school and stuff like that. So I, I really do appreciate everyone. I appreciate everyone having that understanding as well and stuff. So now back to um the the rents today in this on rent it's not gonna be a rent series we just gonna just gonna chop it up for a little bit um the the rent i want to talk about is this um uh, i've been i've been uh you know noticing that uh a lot of us when when we well say for example when we when we go and meet someone whether it's a man or a woman i noticed that we don't ask the right questions when you're meeting that person or if you're thinking about potentially dating that person so so what i want to do is that i would just want to throw some stuff out out here and just let you know that when you do want um, to meet that person it's important that you ask the right questions when you're meeting them and stuff you know what i'm saying now the reason why many people including my myself at first when to ask the right questions is because you know we be on this whole trip of trying to impress ourselves and what do i mean by that when i'm talking about impress ourselves you know we throw things out there the first thing we start we start throwing out there is about uh, you know, well, we got a good job. We have a good career. Uh, you, you start telling them about, you know, uh, you have a good head on your shoulder, stuff like that, you know, and, and all this stuff. There are stuff to impress that person, to win them over, you know what I'm saying? But I want to um, tell y'all today that that is the absolute worst thing that you do starting out. Um, especially if you're trying to build a foundation with a person, you know what I'm saying, build a relationship or, and potentially marrying that person, you know what I'm saying? And this is what normally happens to stuff too is that if you don't do that, if you don't get to like really ask the right questions, what's going to end up happening is that later on down the line, you're going to be what, about four or five months into the relationship or longer and stuff right or even engaged or even married to the person and next thing you know you start seeing this person showing signs of change and stuff you know what i'm saying and the reason why these persons show these signs of change is because they could put on a put on an act for so long and to the point they start getting tired or it, it happens at a point where say say for example you know doing something that their person disliked and they never told you that they disliked it the thing that you did and all of a sudden it caused a change in the person's behavior and they start treating you different and stuff so in order to avoid all that it's important for you to right off the bat ask the tough questions ask the most important questions to see where this person's mind is at to see if they even a candidate you know what i'm saying to be your potential um queen or be, be your potential king now here's just some of the questions I'm gonna throw out there that you know you should ask and stuff. You know what I'm saying? The very first most important question you should ask a person is who they are. You you ask them exactly who they are. Ask them like who are you? What makes you you? You know what I'm saying? And when you ask them that question, that's going to challenge them to really think about themselves. They're not going to be thinking about trying to impress you. They're going to be thinking about, dang, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm really thinking about myself, who I really am. Then from that point, you ask them, what, what are you going out there? What is your goal, you know what I'm saying, for us in a relationship? What are you seeking, you know what I'm saying? What are you looking for in a relationship? Then if they begin to start telling you some real vain materialistic stuff, um, saying like, well, I'm looking for a farm um, woman, you know what I'm saying, that could cook and clean for me, stuff like that, all this materialistic stuff. Um, I'm looking for a, a woman, you know, who got a job, you know, it's cool, it don't matter what she do, as long as she holding a job, stuff like that, it's stuff. Right off the bat, that should be an immediate, immediate red flag, you know what I'm saying? 
the, the reason why it's be the reason why for this is because a person who really knows who they are, they're gonna tell you straight up who they are, and they're gonna tell you exactly what they're looking for. A person who who considers himself as a king or a queen, they're not gonna be necessarily looking for the the, the outside appearance of a person or the outside materialist thing that that person could do like cooking or cleaning or looking good or whatever stuff like that they're gonna tell you some stuff that's from their heart they're gonna say some things like well i'm looking for for a person that's that's gonna stimulate my mind that's gonna stimulate my soul i look for a person that's gonna uh, encourage me to to push me to strive to be the king that i am or the queen that i am you know what i'm saying i'm looking for a person that's gonna enhance the things that I already have in my heart and stuff that God has given me in my heart and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, so that's that's one of the questions you should ask. Another important question that you should ask is by asking them about the relationships in the past and stuff. Ask them like um, ask them about the wrong relationship. Ask them like, uh, how long it been since uh, you you been in a serious relationship? How long it had, has it been since you had sex with someone? How long have has it been um? Since, uh, you know, you cheated or, you know, you did any of these type of things, you know, real serious questions and stuff to challenge to make that person think, you know what I'm saying? Then another question you should also ask, ask them about their family and stuff. Ask them about family history. Believe it or not, family history is very, very, very important in a relationship because you need to, because if you, if you want to be with a person and stuff, right, that family history is going to be serious for the simple fact. That you need to understand the background and history. You need to understand. Uh, you need to know things like: um, Do this family have a history of alcoholism? You know what I'm saying? Or do they have have a history of domestic violence? Do they have one history of uh, you know what I'm saying? Or you know being financially unstable or being stable? You know? Do they have these different type of issues? Are the are the one father and mother together? You know what I'm saying? Are they together? If they're not together, what's the reason why they're not together? Or, are they divorced? Are they willow? Are, are they willow? You know what I'm saying? Or what what happened to cause that to happen? You know what I'm saying? Um, then, then another important question you should also ask too is the religion background. What do you believe in? Do you believe in God? Do you not believe in God? You know what I'm saying? What is it that you stand for? What is your worldview? What do you what do you believe in? What was your heart content with? You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times what happens is that we don't ask about the religion. We assume that a person believes in a certain thing because you hear a person say that they love God and stuff like that. Oh, oh I love God. You know, I go to church, you know, every once in a while on a Sunday or Saturday or whenever I go, stuff like that. But just because a person say that they love God and they go to a church house, that doesn't constitute their religious view, their world view of what they really, really, truly believe in their heart. And what end up happening is that you know, hooking up with this person, the next thing you know, this person is different because they displaying what they really believe in, their religious views, what they really believe in. And now you disagreeing with that because it don't goes with your your world view, your your world view or what you believe in, your religious view. Of what you believe in, you know what I'm saying? You just assumed it instead of really getting down and asking what is it that you really believe in, you know what I'm saying? So, so that's a that, that's another key thing that's very important. And another thing, and, and, and another thing that's final that's important is to want uh, ask this, and this is very common in our culture now. We, we have a lot of um, um, people out here now who are either one um, single parents, whether well, you're a single father or you're a single mother. So it's very important that you ask them about the relationship of their children and ask them the relationship of their um, other other one um, children's mother or the children's father. Ask them um, ask them question about hey, how's your relationship? Do y'all have a good relationship? Do y'all have a bad relationship? You know what I'm saying? Um, and ask them why, what happened for the relationship to be the way it is and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And so, by you asking these challenging questions, you you put that person on the clock right then and there. You you begin to understand where that person mindset is right then and there. And by you asking these questions, it's gonna save you a lot of heartache 
and stuff in the future. You know what I'm saying? Believe me, I know through experience and stuff, it's going to save you a whole lot of heartache and stuff in the future. That way, you know what I'm saying, you won't step into the relationship thinking that, you know what I'm saying, you 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 trying to change a person or anything like that. Oh, yeah, speaking of which and stuff too, and this thing gets um, really, really common, especially with women, is that, uh, you know, we go, women go through this um egotistical process where they know that they dealing with a dude who's not all that, you know what I'm saying? But you try to go through the process of change the dude. No, don't do that at all and stuff. That is a total waste of time. And that's a total waste of your effort. The reason why is because it's going to drain you physically, mentally, and spiritually. You know what I'm saying? So if, so if, you, so if this person is draining you and all they're doing is being like a parasite to you and stuff, they don't want to change because if they want to change, they, they'll have been the deed. They're doing it right now. They'll be in the process of changing willfully. And stuff, you know what I'm saying? You should never, ever, ever have to force someone to change. And I should be in their heart and in their mind and their spirit to want to change, want to be that king or the queen that they want to be. And so, willfully, and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, if you in that, and stuff, I'm not advised to you right now that that's something that, that you have to um, consider and stuff, that you have to reevaluate, even with yourself, even. Ask yourself this question as well. It's up to why in the world am I even investing into that? Trying to make a person change. You know what I'm saying? When you know they're not going to. You know what I'm saying? You know that they'll fight with you. They'll argue with you. They'll fuss with you. They even will, even will say things to point out faults and failure within you. To make it seem like you're a bad person when in reality you're really not. You're actually really working on yourself. You know what I'm saying? But they'll point different things. Things of different failures and stuff out to you, stuff like that and stuff. And that's something that you don't want to get caught up in at all. So because you're way more important, you way more valued than that and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So so I hope um in this um this this rant that um that a lot of you you pick up what what I'm saying and stuff like that uh, that 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 you understand that. With everything that I said, that communication is very, very important. When you're meeting a person, when you're talking to them, wherever you meet them at, where if it's um through on uh, social media, where if it's you know through uh courtship, where if it's you know wherever you at, where if you know you're at a church setting, private setting, uh wherever you be at, where well, I don't care if you're at McDonald's, whatever stuff, and you meet this person, you get their phone number, you talk to them, ask them the important questions you need to know, uh, where they stand, where they mind, and their mentality and stuff yet is at. And stuff, and I guarantee it's gonna save you a lot of trouble for real. And stuff. So my time is on up on, on this um rent. Um, that's a quick um heads up on. I will be on um, posting uh more on rent. So I'm, I'm working on a another one or watching rent series as well. And stuff. So be looking for that. Until then, uh, fight faith with faith for everyone. Copa Copa Deo, man. God bless y'all. Peace.